Radio waves are kinda crazy. A few hundred years ago, people were sending messages with pigeons, and now we're here communicating over some weird waves we can't even see? What the frick frack shake shack is happening here? To begin with, radio waves are sorta a type of light, but not this light, it's like a quirky sort of light, called an electromagnetic wave. The visible light our eyes can see have a wavelength of 400 to 700 nanometers, but we are blind to longer waves called radio waves, some of which are the size of football fields. Luckily, radio waves still travel at the speed of light, and since they are so long, the waves can actually pass through walls, just like how visible light passes through glass. Plus, unlike sound waves which need molecules to travel, electromagnetic waves like radio waves can move through empty space. Electromagnetic waves aren't just some sort of hocus pocus magic. They are actually a form of radiation you get when you slap together an electric and magnetic field. Electric fields are like an invisible force field around a charged object that pushes or pulls other charges nearby. When a charged object moves, it creates a magnetic field around it, perpendicular to its motion. When the charge accelerates, it disturbs both fields, and these disturbances travel outward as oscillating electric and magnetic fields, forming electromagnetic waves. Cool, but how do we harness this power? To create radio waves, electrons must oscillate. This is done by using an alternating current in an antenna, where the direction and strength of the current change periodically. The frequency of the current determines the frequency of the radio waves produced. But how does invisible light allow me to listen to Doja Cat? You may have heard of AM and FM before. Amplitude modulation is like talking loudly or softly to encode a message, while frequency modulation encodes a message by speaking in a higher or lower pitch. AM has worse quality, but FM waves aren't able to travel as far. Okay, so there are a bunch of invisible waves flying around. Say I'm in the car road tripping with the boys and want to listen to a radio station playing some Doja Cat. How do we capture the radio waves around us to listen without accidentally getting the wrong frequency and having to listen to Beethoven's latest and greatest? It's all thanks to the antenna. Antennas are usually made of conductive materials like metal. Why metal? Well, metal's got these free electrons just chilling out, able to freely move. When radio waves carrying Doja's beats pass by, the electrons have no choice but to vibe, so they start oscillating back and forth, creating an electric current in sync with the radio wave. But there's more than just Doja radio waves, so how does the antenna know to vibe to Doja and not Beethoven? Enter the tuner. The tuner's job is to go, hmm, 98.5? Yeah, let's vibe with that one. It uses something called a resonant circuit to lock in on that exact frequency, ignoring all other noise out there. Once it's got the right station, it amplifies the signal and boom, you're listening to Doja. But I know what you're thinking. That's cool and all, but I have Spotify, so aren't radio waves totally useless now? Well, buddy boy, radio waves are used for far more than the standard broadcast radio. Everything uses radio waves, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, radar, car key fobs, and radio telescopes. So how about a little respect, yeah? 